Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa is not teaching you how to cook, but just to give you cooking ideas. Okay, so you don't really have to follow how I did it. Um, recently, Apa has been watching um, my favorite uh, food blogger people like travel and also Mark Wayne has been going to places like Pakistan and Sri Lanka eating a lot of curries so I feel like making curries today and today I'm going to actually going to make a thicker version uh, usually I'm making the no uh, usually my normal curries is those uh, soupy type today I'm going to make which something which is a bit drier and thicker okay so I'm using here um, this is actually few probably uh, four or five chicken wings, uh, kampong kampong chicken, yeah, free range chicken wings. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to put in some <coughs> some wedge into the curry. This is uh, some long bean. Actually, just trying to clear my fridge. Uh, these are some of the potato. I cut uh, into slightly smaller this round rather than the normal big chunk. Usually, I prefer the bigger chunk because it tastes better that way. But um, uh, today I'm going to make a drier version so I was hoping my, my potato can actually get cooked uh, easier so I actually cut it smaller and um, fry it yeah fry it to at least about 50 or 60 percent uh, cook here uh, then we have the curry spices uh, I have one uh, chopped uh, tomato I chop it up because it's later it will actually get easier to melt to be uh, yeah melt into the oil of course we have some uh, cut a uh, small red onion, uh, chopped sorry, chopped small red onion. These are chopped uh, coriander, fresh coriander. These are chopped on, uh, gar uh, this is ginger, chopped garlic, and some curry curry leaves. And here's our dry spices: uh, bay leaf. This is cardamom. Um, uh, this is cloves. This is uh, cumin and fennel. Okay, a bit of cumin, a bit of fennel, and one star anise here. Oh, I forgot about my uh, cinnamon stick. Oh, I think I run out of my cinnamon stick. Never mind, it's okay. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we have some... Uh, this is what makes a curry powder. These three things here. I'm using actually uh, one teaspoon, yeah? Normally, I use tablespoon because it's actually a soupy, a soupy uh, curry. So, I use more powders. But now, because it is going to be a drier one, so I actually use lesser. I actually use teaspoon. So, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, and two teaspoons of red chili powder. These three things, one, one, two, this, this three things here will give you curry powder. Okay? And of course, some additional one, optional. I have about half teaspoon of, uh, this is my own garam masala. You can search for my video on how to make own garam masala in my YouTube. And also, this is a bit of a home ground uh, black pepper. Okay, so let's start. Okay, always remember whenever you're using a stainless steel wok, you always put your oil into cold wok. Okay, this is the characteristic of a stainless steel wok. All the others, you will, you will actually have to do it reversely, which is add your oil after the wok uh, becomes heated. Yeah, this, uh, by doing this, you're going to reduce the uh, sticking of the bottom yeah, from, uh, for your wok here. If not, many people thought I'm using a I'm using a non-stick wok. Does it look like a non-stick wok to you? This is just stainless steel, okay? Uh, first of all, we want to saute our fresh herbs. The ginger, garlic, fresh coriander. Oh, we can put in the curry leaf later. Okay, you saute until for about one or two minutes until the fragrance really calms out. Then only then we continue with the rest. We come back shortly. I wish you can smell this. It's already very fragrant. Now we can actually put in our tomato uh, chopped tomato. You want to saute until. Uh, your tomato becomes a really becomes a puree and dissolve into uh, the oil. Okay, so it will take uh, one two minutes. Okay, this is after about one two minutes sauteing the tomato. 
You can now uh, start feeling and smell the citrusy uh, aroma from the tomato itself. This is the time where we can add in the herbs, the spices. I found my cinnamon stick, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, immediately the fragrance comes out. Mm -mm. Okay, turn down the fire. Be why I turn down the fire? Because I want to add in the powders. If your whole wall is too hot and you add in the powders, it may get burned, yeah? So turn down the fire, then only you add in the powders. You will notice immediately your powder is going to soak up all your oil. But not to worry, we can always add in a little bit of oil shortly. It's not too dry because of my tomato puree. You can turn out the fire a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Okay. I'm going to saute this until the oil started to break. We will come back shortly. As you can see here, the oil started to break. Yeah, you start seeing the oil coming up. Now we can actually continue. Let's season, season it with a bit of salt. And a bit of sugar before you add in the meat. Okay. Super fragrant. Ooh. This curry paste here can go with anything. You can even put it onto ikan bakar. There's no rule in Apao's kitchen. Actually, there's no rule in home cooking. Uh, don't bother, don't be bothered with how the chef really cooks sometimes, you know. We can uh, use their way as a reference point, but seriously, you cook at home, you are the one who cook for your family. Whoever who eats your dish should really um, to really uh, cherish yeah, and uh, appreciate what you are doing for them. Now we add in the marinated chicken. I marinated my chicken with some uh, light soya sauce. Some people say, can they marinate their chicken with some uh, curry powder? Can, it's up to you. Like I said, no right or wrong. Okay, I'm going to turn up to high heat. Whoa, look at how appetizing my chicken looks. And now I can add in my potato. You want your potato and your uh, chicken to be nicely coated with the curry paste. Wow. I wish you can smell this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to add some, I don't have santan with me today, I'm just, I, I took some of my daughter's milk. My two year old daughter, this is her milk. I bought, I bought two new bottles for her today. <laughs> Basically, we want to add some creaminess to this dish, yeah? Ooh, look at this! Yum! Okay, we're going to add some hot water. Then we are going to let it continue cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes is more appropriate. We need to give it a bit of uh, water for this for it to really uh, simmer. Towards the end, I will add in my long bean. Yeah, we still have a long bean here. Okay, very thick, very very uh, no, aroma, aromatic. Now, I'm going to close it with a lid and bring down. Uh, bring down the heat to uh, low medium and let it simmer for at least 10 to 15 minutes. 
and we'll come back after that. While waiting, um, the few things to note here, number one, do notice that I actually cut my chicken into even smaller pieces. Why? Because I'm going to do a drier type, so I cannot put a lot of uh, water. Um, because of that, um, the cooking time here will not be very long. So we want to cut short the cooking time for your chicken. We want to cut short the cooking time for your tom uh, potato. So the chicken, we cut it into very small pieces and the potato, we actually uh, pre-cook it. Yeah, about to about uh, pan fry for about 50-60%. So that it's going to be get cooked about 10 minutes or so. If you put in a raw tomato, a potato, it's going to take you at least 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, I want to put in my uh, long bean. Now it's about eight minutes simmering. Whoa. Oh, super fragrant. Okay, I'm going to put in my long beans. Of course, you want to wash them. And also my curry leaves. Still have my, some of my garlic here. Give it a few stir. Oh, this is going to go so well with your white rice. I'm sorry to those who cannot eat too much rice, yeah? Um, you may want to put in your long bean much earlier if you don't like to eat it a bit raw. Actually, long bean in Malaysia, the Malays actually eat it raw. To me, I'm okay. But my family don't eat it raw. So I'm going to let it cool for about uh, a minute or two. See how beautiful this dish is? Um, I probably need a bit of uh, hot water here. I don't want it to be chow ta. Okay, it's almost there. Almost done. I'm going to close this. Let it continue simmer for another 2 minutes, then it is done. Alright, my curry chicken has been simmering under medium heat for another 2 minutes. I hereby present to you Apao's Dried Curry. Ooh, look at this beautiful colour. Ooh, and a very thick gravy. Let's do some finer seasoning. Uh, give it a bit of salt. A bit of light soy sauce. Okay, enough. Give it a few stir and it is done. Look how appetizing this dish is. I'm going to uh, take it out from the wall. Okay, here's my dry, uh, dry uh, curry chicken. If you like my video, do share my video on your face uh, Facebook to your friends. To come to Cooking Apa, Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you like my video. Alright, you can eat it together with rice, roti, prata, anything. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.